Hey guys, so we're talking about some brushes that are super great quality and are like the exact same thing as MAC and I even talk about that in the video for really, really cheap and they're called CPC brushes. I think you've heard of them. They're kind of Sigma's and MAC's new competitor, you could say, and I'll put their link down below. And they sent me some brushes to review. They sent me the 190 brush, which is this brush. Um, and I'll, I guess I'll start reviewing it. Um, no, I'm going to start with a different brush. So they sent me the MAC to, um, 30, 252. I was very, very, very confused when I got this. I was, there, I was like, why did they send me a MAC brush? It's actually, it's a legit MAC brush. It's not like a fake brush. It's made in France. The MAC only makes their brushes in France and, um, Japan. And, like, it's so soft. It doesn't shed. Um, my mom has the 252 to rub it, and it's the exact same brush. Like, I don't, they sent me a real MAC brush. So what I'm thinking, I could be wrong. Um, I think that they, maybe they're made, they make them on the same factory. They send them to diff, like the same manufacturer. But um, I guess I'll review it anyway because they did ask me to. It's super duper soft. It's really good for packing. It's not, for me, this does like everything. Uh, it packs on color. It's really, really, really just like exactly on your lid. Then it also applies highlight really nicely and in your corner highlight. And then it also p puts in color in the crease really well. So... Definitely a really good brush. And I washed them, by the way, because I didn't want them to be dirty. So, um, I, I'm guessing that this is the same as their CPC one. So, I am I guess you would order the CPC one because I'm pretty sure it's the exact same thing. Because why would they send me something I can't even buy from them? So, yeah. This is a brush and it's just like this. People ask me about my nails. Yeah, they are the glue on ones that I got sent. And they look so natural and I really like them. And I'll be doing a review and they're not long. So, I have to put contact lenses in so it would be hard if they were long. You know what I mean? The next brush, like I said, is the 190, which is a CPC 190, and I'm not sure what it stands, CPC stands for, because I'm just weird, but it's the MAC, it's the foundation brush, and I have the MAC foundation brush, which I should have brought over here, but it's in my mom's bathroom, because I put it over there to dry, because I can't dry it on my table, because they dry her sideways, and she has a special dryer thing, which you don't really care about, but anyway, so it's my favorite brush, like, I never used to use that one, because I just thought it was too cakey, and I started using this one, and it's so soft, it's the exact same softness as the MAC, like, the texture of it. And it's the exact same coloring, it's the exact same denseness, which is kind of important, and um, it applies it really well. I think what I do is I put it on my hand, I take some on my hand, I kind of just put it everywhere, my cheek, like four, and then I start blending it into my skin, like I start just like blending it in, and then I use my fingers at the end um, to blend it in better, and I definitely love this brush. It's a really good app, um, foundation brush, so if you're looking for a new foundation brush, definitely check out the CPZ one. And, I should, and the shipping was really quickly, it was about a week, and they're shipping from Hong Kong. So, usually it takes a long time, so um, a week isn't that bad. Oh, my hair. Anyway, the next brush is they, they sent me is the CPC 219, and I have the MAC 219 right here to compare to you. Honestly, these are the exact same brush. Um, and this one looks a little bit more pointier right now, that's because it's kind of newer. I've been using it for about a week's a week. Um, and I washed it, that's why it's white. And this one is a MAC one, which I've been using for a couple months now, that's why it's less pointy, if that makes sense. Um, but they're the same exact, um, material, like the tech, the white hair, the same hair. And, um, they are really nice, they're super duper soft, they apply color really, really well. I take the CPC and I just do like this V and then I fill this in, I'm wearing this eyeliner today. And I'm wearing the MAC Nocturne, I'll see where it's like. And then you put that on the bottom. They do the same thing. Exactly the same. So if you want the MAC 219 and that you think, oh, $30 is too much, definitely get this one. Honestly, I'm telling you, it does the exact same thing, so it doesn't really matter. Next is the CPC 129. I don't have the MAC 129 because I have um, the ALF Studio Brush Brush, and that works actually really well, so I'll just use that one. Um, but this one is so amazing. Okay, so I washed this, and I was really scared that the dye would come out. I don't know. I was, I'm always worried about that. But it didn't come out. The dyes did not come out. It's still black. No little spots. It's so soft. It does not shed at all, which is really good, nice. Um, it's not very dense, but I like that. I know some people might not like that, so if you don't like that, you won't. It's not very dense. Like, I mean, I can go like that. To it, it's super soft, though. It's really, like, blendable, and it gives a really nice airbrush kind of look. Like, it, like, blends it in so well. It looks airbrushed your blush. So, I definitely like it. Like, I just hate it. That's how I apply my blush. I apply it from out here and kind of blend it in. Who is calling me? Cut this one, it! I, I can't bring it. I'm making a video. So this is a really soft brush, and I really like it. My mom's friend calling that I hate. So it, 
and it's really pr good for blending, especially if you need to use it for other things, such as you can b use it for highlight. I'm making a video. Don't walk in. And I just put it on my cheekbones and on the sides of my face, like to contour. Sorry, my friend is a bitch. So, um, <laughs> sorry. And it's really nice for that. I've been really liking it for bronzer. I usually use a fluffy brush for bronzer, but now I kind of like it just to bring up here and, and, and then kind of do that. With it, also, like I said, highlight and blush. So it does, does like three things. And I think you could apply powder with it. It's a little bit of a smaller brush, but I mean, if you had to, you could. You know what I'm saying. The next brush is the 239 they sent, which is the CBC 239. I have the MAC 239 as well. Um, the MAC 239 is a bit smaller and less fluffy. Here, if I can show you, like, the fluffiness. It's kind of awkward. You can see the CBC one is a little bit fluffier and a little bit longer, but honestly, applies exactly the same. <clears throat> so, so soft, doesn't shed it, like I said. It applies the color, packs it on really well, just like the MAC one does. So if you're looking for alternatives, this is honestly, I'm amazed with the quality of these brushes. Definitely really good brushes um, and for really great prices. Next one sent me is the 266, which I don't have because I'm not, <clears throat> I'm not fun of gel liner. I've never tried it. I tried it once, and I tried it with a really bad brush. It didn't really work. I love liquid liner, like silver liquid liner, not black, though. This is MAC, like I said, I think I already said Nocturnal. This is a 266. And it's such a good brush. It is, oh, okay, so it's just an angled brush. And I tried it for my eyebrows. It's a bit too thick for my eyebrows. But for liner, it applies really well. I don't like to start too close to my eye with liner. I just kind of start, like, in the middle-ish. And I go like that. And it does it perfect. I don't usually do a wing because you can see I'm not doing a wing today. I don't like the way it looks. But it looks so nice. And it applies it really well. And it doesn't apply it, like, very gritty or, like, messy. It just it does a nice, fine, clean line. The next brush I sent me is the... 316 lip brush which I don't have this brush I don't know I never bought lip brushes before but it, it goes like this like you can put it in the bullet because you don't want to get bacteria on it and I don't like touching anything with my fingers I'm just weird I like to keep everything like sanitized I don't like touching even like um like max tinted lip conditioner even with it but it looks like this one you get it and you put this on the bottom so it looks longer and I really like this brush. it applies color really well I washed it again it might look a little dirty but I washed it um I put it on my lips, uh, I put the Eco Bella stuff that I was talking about on my lips, I put um, the MAX kind of soap conditioner, I like to put lip gloss on from this thing, I think I find the brush does it way better, I, and, uh, I like it better, and sometimes I just take um, a pigment and I put it in the middle of my lips and I kind of blend it together, so that works really well. So overall these are really great brushes, great alternatives if you're looking for some, you should definitely check it out. And I'll put the link to their website down below if you want to order some brushes. I know you won't regret it. I know you love it. I'm going to tell, I'm going to tell like, everyone who asked me for great quality brushes for less. I'll definitely recommend these because these are my favorite. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and have a great day.